Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. An exciting video today and I've been um, planning to film this video for quite a while but then I wanted to wait for a special delivery so I can put it all in one video so it took a while. Uh, it's all about Virtual Yarns which is the website of Ali Starmore and Jade Starmore um, and I found uh, their website through Constance which is Yarning Over the Days podcast about a year ago so in the first lockdown of this pandemic I've been uh, doing a lot of knitting and a lot of um, watching podcasts on YouTube so uh, Constance knitted some beautiful pieces from the Tudor Roses series of Alice Starmore book so I've been looking on their website for months now, putting money aside because um, I wanted to get a kit. So every time I, I wanted to get this particular kit, it was always sold out. So I've contacted Jade and she um, messaged me back and she said that probably towards the autumn they will get back in stock that kit in particular, which is the Alba jacket. Um, I will try to link down below everything I talk about uh, they will take you straight straight to their website with every project that I'm mentioning so um, while I'm waiting for that I also uh, fallen in love with this particular book from their website and I looked for it on Amazon and it's very very expensive so I waited and I bought it on their website and it's about 28 pounds or 32 pounds I can't remember exactly it's called a collector's item and is a knitwear designed inspired by the Brunel uh, by the Burrell collection and um, obviously it's an older uh, print on their website you can see an updated version of some patterns in this book and I can show you some of them it's just gorgeous this book look at that uh, it has a lot of information about the the collection and um, the inspiration of this um, beautiful um, collection of knits. But here on the fr first two pages you have the contents and then it shows you the beautiful designs that are in this book. So you can see Kimberly, Amphora, um, um, they have... Um, there's also color work and just a one color garments. There's a child's version for men, beautiful color work designs. And the ones that I've fallen in love with, I'll show you, uh, are this ones, the Suzani vest. I'll try to bring it closer. That's the Suzani vest. And then also this um, this shawl which is called the Persian tiles shawl and that's the colorway in this book on their website you see it in two other colorways which is um, like a yellowy cream with a red and also a um, like a creamy with a navy which looks amazing and also this uh, pattern on their website has a cream background color so um, while I'm waiting uh, for my Alba jacket to come back in stock, I've ordered this kit and I've ordered uh, some yarn to try to recreate the cream and navy version of this shawl from their website. At the moment they're sold out in the navy uh, yarn so I had to kind of adjust and see what works with it to kind of substitute which I did and this is what I came up with <laughs> I will talk to you about that in a minute this book uses an older uh, um, version of Alice Starmore's yarns and they have updated their yarn so now they just sell Hebridean two ply and three ply and they had to adjust some things for the pattern so when you purchase a kit when you purchase this kit or when you purchase this kit it will come with um, additional information in order to use the new Hebridean two ply instead of the old 
um, yarn that she suggests for for this this book in particular. It's it's complicated, I think, but just head over to their website and they explain everything there in detail. Um, it's just um, too complicated for me to explain. But this is the book and these are the patterns in it. So if you're interested, I would say go to their website and purchase this book. It's just amazing. Uh, you have a big variety. This one, the Elizabethan jacket on their website looks amazing as well as the Kimberly. Especially the detail here at the cuff and also in the middle of the back, it has a, a detail. So for all the pictures and amazing photography head over to their website to see the kind of updated more modern version of these um, garments but um, yeah I love this book and I'm so happy with it and I'm so excited to knit the Suzani vest that's my next project so um, like I said I wanted to knit the um, Persian tiles and I want to show you a bigger picture of it so you can see better let me find it in the book see if I can find a better picture of it here we go oh sorry so here's the show as you can see it's got long tassels and a beautiful uh, combination of um, colors to create this beautiful tiles effect. So I've ordered the Pebble Beach, which is the background color for both versions. And then I ordered something that look almost the same as the Storm Portrayal, which is uh, the one I wanted, but it was out of stock. And I thought this was almost the same, but um, this is a lot lighter in real life than what it was on the website. So I'm glad I went with the darker version. Uh, what was this one called? S no, this is sear water. And this one was, I don't, I don't remember. I will link everything down below. I don't remember this particular colorway. But I think from, um, from the distance, they both look nice. Close up, this one looks a little bit blurry. This one is more clear. So for my Persian tiles um, show, I will go for these two unless they bring back in stock the Storm Portrayal to replace the Dark Navy. So it is, it is a Dark Navy. Let me bring it closer. It is a Dark Navy. It's quite a solid color, unlike the Pebble Beach that has um, more like a greeny beige background with lots of different speckle colors. It's got blue, it's got yellow, it's got brown. It's got green, turquoise, all kinds of different colors in it. I just love this yarn so, so much, um, this one. I want to get a the three-ply one to make a nice jumper from it, just just from that yarn. So um, I did put a story on my Instagram, and most people said that this one looks better than this, and I agree. Even though on camera, they both look really nice, but obviously um, you don't always look at it through the camera lens. So um, yeah, I think this one looks a lot better. Then um, I I knitted it using, uh, using a three millimeter needle. I got, my gauge was quite off, but I think it has to do with the yarn because in the book, the gauge was 30, 32 stitches for 10 centimeters and I think I got like 23 stitches for 10 centimeters on a three millimeter needle so um, I have to see what I'm going to do about the vest but uh, it doesn't matter in a shawl and it doesn't matter in a cushion cover because as long as you get the <laughs> 40 centimeters for your cushion that you put the insert in then it's fine and also for the shawl the bigger the better so I'm, I'm all right with that but um, I've repeated the pattern twice so it creates these tiles so this is one repeat it creates the tiles and then when the tiles blend together it creates this um, kind of cross in the middle so um, yeah this is just my 
gauge swatch, to be honest. But I wanted to see how it looks in these two different colors and I ended up with a cushion cover. And I'll show you what I did at the back. These are the three colors that I used together. This is the Pebble Beach, this is the Sea Water, and this is the navy one that I can't remember the name for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then I had this uh, knit picks that is slightly different than the sheer water, but it's the back of the cushion. I just didn't really mind. It's a Wool of the Andes Sport. It's the same gauge, so I think it worked all right. All I have to do now is put all my buttons on. So I did one button, put all my buttons on and wait for my cushion insert to arrive and then uh, put it in and I'll have a beautiful cushion which was gonna be just a swatch that I would chuck somewhere in a drawer but it ended up being a beautiful cushion cover so yeah that is Persian tiles in two different colorways and I will put in the description down below what I use for each one and then for the reason of filming this video, I I have purchased my kit and I have it here in a beautiful box. Let me just open it and show you what it is. So it comes in this gorgeous um, box uh, and oh yeah, I forgot. I've ordered two, <laughs> two other skeins. And it's wrapped in tissue paper, and uh, I didn't I didn't open it. As you can see, it's still got the uh, the sticker there. Uh, it arrived yesterday. I opened it last night. I opened the box last night, and I said no. I want to do it on the camera because it's just too exciting. So <laughs> that's why it's still sealed. Uh, I ordered two skeins of a different combination just to see if it will look nice to do that combination instead of the um the blue these two colors and um ooh. this one is oh i love the feel of this wool this one is spindrift so it's the hebridean two ply this one is in the colorway spindrift and i hope that you can see is it's it's a yellow beige with specks of darker yellow, orangey, and some purple and some blues in it, is not as fun as the Pebble Beach. It's more yellow than the Pebble Beach, and it ha hasn't got the green in it. But I paired it with a more like a like a rusty red, which is called Red Deer. So I want to see how that looks together. Because it might look nice, so uh, who knows. But I will not swatch, I don't think I will swatch in the same pattern of the tiles. I think I will make up my own uh, color work for a pair of mittens or something. And then see, see how they look together. But these two are just beautiful. It's a two-ply yarn and it's very airy, very squishy and beautiful. And very, very soft. So, uh, to the most important part, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, I think, oh, you can't see it all. There we go, that's better. I think this is the same as this, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. So as you can see, I've got all the yarn in the kit that I need to knit the Suzani vest. And they on their website, they say they include instructions of the adjustments that I need to put together with the book to create the vest with this yarn. So I've got a little bit of the red deer. Yeah, here we go. So... They give you the exact yarn that you need. You will probably have a little bit extra, but not much. So, um, but you should have enough for the size that you choose. I chose size small, I think. Um, so I have this. 
This is the red deer. He's got brown and reds, rusty brown and reds in it. It's just beautiful. Then we have this one, which is called Selkie. <gasps> I love this. He's got greens and turquoise and blues and yellows and purples. Wow. This is just beautiful. This is Selkie. Then we have this one, which is called Foma. This one is just a plain, oh, actually it's not plain. It's got different, sh different shades, different, different colors in it as well. It's mainly a light brown, but it's got some reds. Even some greens in there and some yellows. So I've got some of that. And then, wow, look at this. Corn crake. Oh, yes, corn crake. This is gorgeous. Greens, reds. It, it kind of washes it out a bit when I bring it closer. But um, green, reds, oranges. Just gorgeous colors. So that's corn crake. Then we have a purple, which is driftwood. This one has specks of um, brown and beige in it, as well as blues and darker purples. So we've got driftwood. Then we have this rich uh, burgundy color, which is Erica. <laughs> this is very rich and very beautiful and gorgeous. And then we have some lapwing, lapwing, which is more like a greeny blue. There we go, greeny blue color. So all these will create the Suzani vest. So I cannot share with you more um, because those are the instructions for it. So they're um, secret. <laughs> but all these colors will create a beautiful vest. And if you'd like to see what it's supposed to look like, the vest, I will... Um, Put the link down below for you to see um, what it looks like in the colorway that I chose. But I chose the bronze color. So it's more like reds, creams, a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. Um, wow, I'm so excited. Now what I'm going to do next is finish the buttons on my cushion covers and have it ready for when my cushion arrives. And then I will go and skein all these yarns together and cast on and make sure that I get the right gauge <laughs> so I don't end up with either a too small or a too big garment but yeah this is Alice Starmel's, um virtual yarns the design is by Jade Starmel, which is her daughter and it's included in the um, in this book which is a collector's item and also you can get it as a kit on their website with the adjustments for the yarn for the new uh, yarn which is Hebridean 2 ply. I hope that this video was ex as exciting <laughs> for you as it is for me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!